Hello, it's Glen McCrory, and you're watching Mariners TV. Graham, you did some kind of tests on Saturday, but were you, were you pleased with the way it went out there? Yeah, um, I thought we played some really good stuff at times. Um, fair play at concert because they, they really posed some questions for us. They, uh, and I knew they would, to be fair, because uh, Terry's very, very good at his job. Gets them playing out from the back. Obviously, first half we, we went at them a little bit and, and decided to throw a high press, and every now and then they, they played through us and did really well, which happens. Um, but uh, we got picked off and we got down the sides and created a couple of chances themselves. But um, I thought we, we looked a threat as well um, in both halves. Uh, second half we went in and just tactically decided to go, right, well, we're not going to go at them now, we'll just sit off a little bit and um, just use slightly different tactics, just again, just for the lads to be adaptable so when we get into the season they know. Um, how to do do both aspects of, uh, of the game. So, yeah, it was uh, pleasing in terms of that. Um, again, not another day we maybe could have scored four, five, six, um, and they could have maybe scored two, three, four, whatever it was. It was an open game, good game to watch. Um, and and uh, like I say, I'm just really pleased that we're, we're giving everything a go and we're, we're creating lots of chances. I was going to say, creating lots of chances, a few connections really starting to emerge in the team as well. You must be pleased with these early signs. Absolutely, yeah. The more connections that like you see, you get around the pitch, then the better for the team. So, um, yeah, if we can if we can get those uh, relationships nailed down, um, and obviously you've always got to bear in mind that, that that includes the subs who come on the pitch. They have to have relationships and understand what they're doing. But um, there is some really good relationships forming on the on the pitch at the, at the minute. There's something in the first half where Connor T came off and he came back one three minutes later for Blake. Can he talk through those <laughs> two? So no, the plan was obviously to get seventy five minutes and. Um, we have to bear in mind, uh, sometimes Darius can pick up little niggles, so we didn't want to stick him on and off. Um, Connor's obviously uh, quite a fit lad, so we thought he's, he's uh, one of the younger ones, and uh, we thought we'll give him 15 minutes, come off, he can have a stretch, and then back on for 60. So that was the plan, and then obviously, like you say, Blair got a little niggle. Um, he's just being precautionary, I think is the best way to, to describe it, that he's felt it, didn't want to push anymore, so he's just held his hand up and, and come off, so Connor went straight back on. Um, so yeah, the plan was to get him 75, he ended up getting a, a quite a bit more than that. Another goal for Darius here as well, are you pleased with the way he's shaping up? Yeah, yeah, Again, I mean, if Darius will, uh, will tell you himself that he probably should have scored another that, Rick. Um, so, yeah, he's, uh, look, he's getting the chances, which is, is a really good thing for us. Um, like I say, another day, he could have, just could, have, could have scored three today, but he's took his finishing me really, really well. Pleasing off the back of it, a really good press off Callum Ross, you know, it was a... a Call it a tackle assist, um, but uh, yeah, it was a good finish off Darius, so we're pleased with that. Dom Agnew at the back there as well, part of the clean sheet there. Were you really pleased with him as well? As it, as it yeah, be? it's not easy, you know, he's playing against some good players there. It's a test for him, he's, he's not really had much experience and much exposure at, uh, at kind of that level. Um, so yeah, I thought he equipped himself really well. Um, he he, um, he got done a couple of times down the side, but that's going to happen when you're playing against uh, a little bit of pace. Um, but I thought he recovered quite well, um, and again, we we'll see what Dom's like in terms of in possession. He's very relaxed, very composed. Picks some very good passes through lines at times to create as uh, some some movements from the back end of the pitch. So um, yeah, we're, we're pleased with Dom. A lot of chances in the closing stage. We've already denied, denied a couple of great goals. The, the Will McGowan chip and the, the Connor T one that was destined for the dock corner as well. Yeah, Connor Jenks. I mean, Jenks when he flipped it over yeah. the defender's head and hit. It. Obviously, you know, the keeper didn't save that one, but Kyle. Look, I've, I've, uh, I've got a, a good relationship with Kyle. He's a great lad, and I think that's probably the best performance I've ever seen him uh, have. He's a good, he's a good keeper, but that was exceptional today, and uh, you know, he, he did really well to keep the score down. It's three wins from three. Obviously, results aren't everything in pre-season, but to get that winning mentality going early doors must be something that you're really looking for. Absolutely, yeah. Um, like you say, it was a sloppy goal to give away, so we're a bit disappointed with that. But we're, the good thing is that we're we are um, looking like we can keep clean sheets alongside creating lots and lots of chances. So um, it's a it's a good formula at the minute, and long may it continue. Tomorrow night, wait, crew. I'm guessing a younger side is probably expected there. Can you just talk through what a game might yeah, bring? Well, obviously, we've got a few little niggles. Um, so we probably would like to get get more people minutes, but um, yeah, I think it'll be Aaron, Stevens, Blair, Ross, uh, um, Jenks has just picked up a little niggle there, so he'll not feature. Sam Hodgson will play, um, or Will McGowan will play, and some of it, even though he's played half an hour there, he'll possibly play um, 45 to 60 minutes, something like that. So it just adds on top of his game time, his match fitness, um, and that'll be uh, complemented by obviously the um, 
the, the academy players who, uh, who are doing really well at the minute as well. Just finally looking ahead to Blyde Sport and on Saturday, probably get another step up in quality for us. Are you really looking forward to that game and testing yourself there? Yeah, um, Blyde's always a tough place to go to, so um, looking forward to it. Obviously, I was there for a long time myself and uh, looking forward to seeing some some familiar faces from uh, a few years ago. Um, they will be good, they've, they've certainly made some good signings over the summer, so um, like you said, it'll be another step up. And um, I think one thing's for sure that uh, if we're going to win that game, we have to be um, more clinical than we were today.